Oh, there he is. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. Let's try again. Oscar, you know you could just call me Kate. It would be so much nicer, especially as we're going on such a long journey together. I am sorry, Kate Walker, but I have already logged your name. I cannot modify this data, and my functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Well, I hope your functions permit you to learn the difference between being familiar and quite simply nice. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? <laughs> the rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. Oh, I was going to ask him another question. Uh... Well, that's that solved. Let's go to the ticket master. Get some tickets for the gig. Uh, it's this way, no, this way. Oh, there he is. Oh, what the hell? It's Oscar again. But it's you? What can I do for you, madam? <laughs> but Oscar, it's me, <coughs> Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Oscar, you know you could just call me <coughs> Kate. It would be so... I am sorry, Kate Walker. Well, I hope your functions permit don't think for one... I also... It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why, do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? <laughs> yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? I, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then. Okay. Oh. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Okay, let's get back on the train. It's me again, Oscar. Hello. Let me close Don't that. think for one. I also. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why? Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. 
What does he want? It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kay. Oscar, if you were in my shoes right now, what would you do? My reasoning mechanism does not permit me to manage problems outside the mandate of my own functioning. Oh, shit. I can't wait to meet Hans Varlberg. What about you? I would find the experience inordinately gratifying. And I won't forget to congratulate him on the success of his incredible automaton. Why, thank you, Kate Walker. This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate Walker. This train has been designed to optimize passenger comfort. Do you know Momo? No, Kate Walker. Are you the only automaton on the train, Oscar? I have been designed to attend to all tasks relating to the smooth functioning of the train and the comfort of its passengers. Okay, okay, Oscar. I don't doubt your talents for a second. Poor Madame Vorlberg. I'm sure she would have loved to come along. This train was designed for only one passenger, Kate Walker. So, it's like I've taken her seat. Don't think for one moment. I all. So what? He wants the. What does he want? There you are. I cannot accept this ticket. Why? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can. Departure release. What the hell does that mean? Go and have a scour around, see if he's. done anything down here. No, he hasn't, has he? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here, this is the authorization for the release of the train. It has not been signed, oh, Kate Walker. God. Oscar. You're going too far. You just gave me this. Does the train belong to you, Kate Walker? No. So there. This train cannot leave Aladdin without the agreement of its owner. I don't think Madame Varlberg is in a position to sign anything right now. In that case, the stamp of her legal representative is perfectly sufficient. Please hurry up, Kate Walker. This train will soon depart, and I must ensure it is not delayed. So if I go to that uh, dude... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, go over there. Maybe that, that guy sweeping the floor will help. No, no, he won't. So I'm going to climb over here because it's quicker than climbing over his... and then we just do this and then this okay so the only people I know who can possibly stamp that is that guy that's in the um, wherever the hell he was the guy that has his tattoo is uh, asleep or something. Which was a car. Somewhere. Bloody moving floors or something. Uh, it's this way too. Is it 
any, I can't remember. No need to. Oh, it's down this way, I think. Let's see if I can speak to him, he'll probably tell me it's a day morning or something stupid again. We're closed. Yeah. It's in there. No. No. Ah, oh, it's there. I'm going to keep that for the moment to figure out what I have to do with that. <sighs> Bastard. Do I need some ink or something? We've got music cylinders, does that work? Stop. Now I've just got a clue. That's what I need, isn't it? Let's go in here and see if I can find some ink. Oh no, I forgot the notary will be resting. I, d but I don't have any ink. I assume that's what I need, is ink. What's that green thing there? That's what I, you do on other first uh, point and click games. Where the chuffing hell am I going to get ink from? Or whatever it is that goes in there. Right, let's go and have a scan and see if I've done everything in this place. So I've got these, these things here cog wheels and a music cylinder that won't do anything. No need. Now this is a door I can't or a fence I can't climb over so there's no point in me going there. What does cogs do? Go back in here for a minute. See if I can. Uh, is it in there? No, there. Oh, thank you very much. I dropped some bloody ink. I'm back again. Miss Walker? Hello, my name is Kate Walker and... Of course, of course. Walker, room six, next floor up. Um... I'm going to have to extend my hotel reservation. Stay as long as you need to. Really, it's no trouble. We're delighted to have a little bit of life at the inn. How many extra days will you be staying? 
I really can't say. I'm just not used to this sort of situation. It's so unexpected. First the alive person dies, next the dead person comes alive. It... it is indeed a very unusual situation. We have a cousin who has an inn in Bremen. He has problems with ghosts. Imagine, the ghost refuses to leave his room. The only way to move him was to give him a bed in the attic. <laughs> it seems that the ghost I'm looking for hangs out in Siberia. Well, that is very unusual. Please, do stay in the room as long as you wish. <sighs> if only I had a wish. I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No biggie. I have been led to believe that Hans Wahlberg is still alive. What do you think of that? Nonsense. The young Vorlberg died in an accident at the age of 18. The whole village was shocked. I can still remember my mother telling me the horrible details. Go take a look in the cemetery if you don't believe me. There's a train at the station platform. Can you tell me where it goes? No idea. We don't even know if it works. I thought it was some kind of prototype. Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call... You're implying... Heaven. I just love all... Be careful. Uh... Did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. Wonderful. I'm gonna go look around Valadie Len. See you later. As you like, miss. Oh, after some bloody ink. Upstairs, if there's anything up there. Which I don't think there is, is there? Because I've already been up here. No need. No, oh, no, I'm trying to remember where our room is. Well, there it is, number six. I don't need that. Hmm. Might be something important there, Kate. No need to go. So there's nothing here in this godforsaken little house. I don't know what these cogwheels do. Dude, there he is. A girl, woman, I don't know what it is now. Hello again. If you have fun. I am Ah. Uh. Oh,
Well, the door wasn't open before. Was he? Hello. Okay, so what's new? We've got oh, a problem, Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? I'll leave it recorded. Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things... The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients, and I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it! I've been on idle for too long, I'll just cut that bit out. Oh, sorry about that. Dog belted off the sofa. This wasn't open before, was it? I have no idea what he said, but I'm assuming I'm staying here a bit longer. <clears throat> this door open because it wasn't open before. I can't go that way. Why not? But these dials were... I can't go that way. Unless she's stuck, I don't know, I'll have to re watch my video again. Why am I here? There is not the hair. Okay. I'm gonna go in there in a minute. Well, I'm she not gonna go in there, I don't know. Maybe I can go in this way. <laughs> 